but I saw that it was like version B or something along those lines and I clicked on the download button and I saw that it was just updated like seven hours before I checked. So I'm like, oh man, now I get to stream more Voices of the Void, everybody. Hooray! I can't wait! Voices of the Void is so much fun! It is. I'm mostly enjoying myself with the game. Even if it has me on edge when it really should not. But that's a me problem. I also think I fixed my issue with Streamlabs. Maybe. So, as it turns out, I, I, I set up like a test save uh, here. And I checked out, I brought up my task manager so I could monitor my, um, my resource use. So Streamlabs takes like 20 to 30% of my GPU, generally speaking. And with all the graphics maxed out for Voices of the Void, it was also taking like 80% of my GPU. So you can kind of see where like with one of, one of the programs using 80% of my GPU and the other using 30% of my GPU, uh, my computer was actually struggling a little bit, which is odd because it's a pretty decent computer. So, I monkeyed with the graphics settings a little bit. I might have to monkey with it a little bit more if I keep having issues. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep adjustments to a minimum though, because I don't, well, I, I could hop into the game here real quick and see, show you what ugly graphics look like. Uh, I did check ugly graphics, by the way, and they were not very pretty. Hello? Okay. Game? Are you okay? Uh, uh, what's going on? <laughs> Why do I have like a red ping on top of my cursor? What's going on with that? That's a bit weird. Okay, well, that's the thing. Anyway, you don't want ugly graphics. Ugly graphics... Yeah, that's that's not great. I mean, it uses basically none of my GPU, but it's also really gross. So I'm gonna try screen resolution at like 90%. I also turned off volumetric lighting because it was just taking way too much of my GPU. All right, so where was I? I was just getting annoyed at Mars. That is a bug which is supposedly fixed, and I think it is. So we're no longer going to be getting a million different Mars signals. So that's pretty neat. So let's get another signal set up, and hopefully we won't get Mars. Maybe we will get Mars. Who knows, won't that be something? Like the game purports no more Mars signals constantly. And then the very next signal we get is just the exact same Mars signal. I might be a little bit mad. That was one of the things that I tested. I was like, I'm just gonna go into my like test save and I'm gonna see if I can get a non Mars signal. And I did right away. So that's pretty neat. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I don't know why my reticule is lighting up when I'm close to the radar. I can't do anything here. And it's not doing that with anything else. Man, that window is so gross. At least I can kind of see out now in some areas. spooky so it is almost midnight on day seven uh which means we're almost to day eight my gpu is maxing out again um 
Let's try to cut back the view distance slightly. And maybe something like that. We'll see if that fixes the problem. Who knows? Maybe this is this is just how I live now. <laughs> I'd like to hope not. But you know. You know. Alright. Get this set up. And then we'll rest till morning. It'll be great. I'll love it. Yeah, I I expect the other shoe to drop at any point, and the game's going to actually terrify me. Because I keep, like, reading online. I, I don't look at spoilers, obviously, but I keep hearing, like, oh, this is the scariest release of the game yet. This game is so scary now. And nothing has happened to me. Absolutely nothing has happened to me. <laughs> So, let's go get some rest. Hopefully nothing scary happens tonight. Of course, now that I mentioned how nothing scary has happened, something's going to happen. Uh, I do have the funny settings still on, I think. Let's see. Yes. I don't really know exactly what that does, but that's okay. And... Are all of my doors unlocked? I should go check that. That is kind of terrifying. No, that one's locked. So why was this one unlocked? Whatever. Maybe I just forgot to lock it. All right, let's get some rest. We'll see if anything scary happens in the night. I'm not sure how I feel about the drone drop being outside. On one hand, it's probably a better place for it. But on the other hand, it means I have to go outside to get the stuff. I can't just pretend. Oh good, it's raining again. All right, 4.30 in the morning. We've had another uneventful night, I think. Nothing scary out on the walkway. Chill. That's not Mars. That's not Mars at all. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Whatever scary thing that is, it's far away from us. Excuse me. That's mine. No, no, wait. Wait, get back on there. This is mine. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful static noise. Okay. So this is another planet one. These are also planet ones. Let's slam this bad boy in there. What is this? That's another planet one. Uh, let's see what our daily task is. Hmm. All right. Oh, relax, game. We also have this cat girl plush that we found last time. I forgot about that. Can't forget about the the uh, the cat girls who come in peace. I 
think. I mean, we got that message. We did get that message right... Where is it? Right here. Right here. Yeah. Now we don't necessarily know that that's the the cat girls, or I mean, this might, I don't know. Just just be an Easter egg. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. That's the first problem. All right, so we have our marching orders. We need to get three level three signals. And we probably have some uh, uh, b -b 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 satellites we need to adjust. Did I miss it? I must have missed it. All right, we'll cycle through this again. Man, my GPU is still chugging at 100%, but at least I can see the timer on my stream still going. So at least I know everything's not completely frozen. I don't know why this game is so much more resource intensive now, but apparently it is. Oh, there we go. All right, almost six o'clock in the morning. I hate this room. I hate this room. I need to find some way to light this room up. All right, let's ping the servers. Lima is down. Romeo is down. Sierra is down. Delta is down. So, Lima, Romeo, Sierra, and Delta. Let's see. Lima, Romeo, Sierra, Delta. So, we have a lot of places we need to go today, is what this is telling me. So Delta, Echo, India. So we have six locations that we need to stop at. Oh, hold on. Uh, give me this. No, not, not you. Give me this. There we go. All right. Is there a lamp? Is there some kind of light that we can buy? Probably not. That would make sense. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I like that the game is, like, has better lighting now. But if everything's dark and spooky, it's, it's kind of obnoxious. I'm not going to lie. All right, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. I probably won't figure it out later. But I can pretend that I will. Uh, do I have a bunch of trash in my inventory? I have a toilet roll. And an empty shrimp packet. Oh no, it's not empty. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll hold on to that. All right. All right, let's get our game plan figured out for today. Delta, Echo, India, Lima, Romeo, Sierra, Delta. So Romeo, Sierra are all the way out in the middle of nowhere. Delta is there. Echo, India, uh, Lima. Uh, so Lima... India, Delta, Echo, Romeo, Sierra. I guess we'll start at India, and then we'll hit Echo and Delta. India, Echo, Delta. 
And then Sierra Romeo. And then we'll end at Lima. Okay. I guess that's what our game plan is going to be for today. Seems like it makes sense. Anyhow, that's almost done. I'd like to start... That's a big file, apparently. I'd like to start processing another signal before we go out. So let's go ahead and maybe do a little bit of cleaning. Drop this drive. We have a bunch of drives, actually. Drop this shovel. Actually, I think we could. I think we could sell this shovel. No, wait. Because I think we have one right outside the door, right? And I don't think we need an extra shovel. I could be wrong about that. Something might happen to our shovel. Yeah. But do I want to keep... Get out of here. Do I want to keep a shovel on me? That is the real question. I guess I probably could. How do I keep having drives in my inventory? Who knows? Actually, I should get some food. Because I only have 53 food juice. I'd like to get a little bit more food. I'm totally not delaying until the sun comes out, by the way. I would never stall. Not in a thousand years. Alright, let's, uh, let's heat up this burger. I don't actually know if heating up food matters like at all but it makes me feel good so we're gonna keep doing it at the very least there we go at the very least i will know that our food is cooked also we need to clean my bedroom because this is kind of gross i'm not gonna lie Just gonna casually put that there for no reason whatsoever. All right, good enough. Let's go. Let's have an adventure. Just ready to go? Yeah. Let's take a listen, shall we? This is my first. Uh, actual real signal that I've gotten for a while. Do I have the visualizer? I think I do. It sounds like a, almost like a tuning fork of some kind. That's Kind of spooky. A little scary. Not too scary, but a little bit. There we go. We should also check our... We're not going to worry about that. Our transformers? They look okay. All right. Let's head to India. SV Target India. All right, let's go. It is daytime. Day eight. Mm-hmm. Let's go on an adventure. How does our... How does our fuel situation look? We don't have a lot of fuel. That... Could be a bit of a problem. We also don't have the money to buy more fuel. All right. Uh, 
I guess we're just gonna go and, and pray we don't run out of fuel. What's the worst that could happen? We get stranded in the middle of the forest. No way of getting home except for our feet in the dark and terrifying wilderness. That doesn't sound so bad. So it has been a few days since I've played. Obviously, since I was waiting for the, uh, the new version to drop. So that we could get more than just Mars singles. So... I'm absolutely probably going to fall to my death off down one of these slopes. 100%. It'll be great. I'll love it. Nothing will please me more. Oh, and India's down. Was India down before? Whatever, it doesn't matter. It probably wasn't. It probably just went down. Okay. Zero, eight, zero, six, two, four, four, B, 43. And then we will reset this. That's a three, that's a 14, that's a one, that's a zero. That's a 12. That's a 1. That's a 2. That's a 7. Yeah, all right. At least I can do basic math now. All right, let's head off to Echo. And I'll double check my fuel because I want to see how much fuel that actually took. Because I'm a bit worried if I have to go out to uh, Sierra and Romeo, like 2% of my fuel. I can't drive while holding an object. All right. Let's go and hope for the best. I want to be careful that I don't have to do, like, long detours that might burn more fuel. Because we're going to get very close to just running out of fuel today. In fact, we may just run out of fuel regardless of what we do. 47? Okay. That wasn't so bad, I suppose. I want to put, I want to put cameras up on those, uh, turbines. I don't actually know if they're, they'd be functional, but I'm curious. Why? What? I don't understand that red dot on my screen. It's fine. I guess I don't have to. All right, so that's zero four, zero four, A B two five seven five three nine nine zero four A B twenty five seven fifty three and nine. So Delta is the last one we have to look at. I might reassess when we hit Delta and just head back to the base. Because I am a little bit worried about running out of fuel. And by a little, I mean I'm extremely worried that we're going to run out of fuel. I could walk the rest of it. I could walk the rest of it. I have everything else I need. Hmm. I could leave the ATV at Delta. And then walk the rest of the way. Maybe. <laughs> Let's not fall to our deaths.
But in the grand scheme of things, we don't really have to reset the satellites all the time. How much fuel did that leave us with? 44. That's still a pretty decent amount. As long as we don't get waylaid, I think we'll be okay. I might not be able to hit the very last satellite on our list, but we should be able to hit the other two. Okay. Four, seven, one. Uh, 12, I think. 1, 7. Negative 2. Yeah, alright. We'll get this hash code. 133. Or, three. Er, no. 033. 7, 6, D, 9, E, Eight zero. All right, Sierra and Romeo. Let's pull out our map for a second. Sierra's due north. Romeo's off in the distance. And Lima's over there. Ah, let's give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? I feel like I've said that about three times now. It's true, though. What is the worst that could happen? We die? Oh, no. Is something interesting happening? Oh, that would be terrifying. I should not mock the game like that because it's <laughs> it is absolutely going to punish me. <laughs> this streak of nothing bad happening is not going to continue. Uh can we Skyrim horse this? Maybe. Well, if there's a fence there, that could be problematic. Unless we could thread the needle. We cannot thread the needle. All right. All right. Well, we made it work. It's like nothing bad ever happened. If I didn't have to be afraid of gliding to my death, wouldn't actually have to use that much fuel to get down here. There we go. Hello, Sierra. How are you today? Enjoying the weather. Indeed. Oh, hey! Also, this is down. 15, 5, 4, 13. Perfect. Alright, that's all I had to do here, right? Yeah. Romeo. There we go. So, I'm fairly certain, I could be wrong about this, that these towers always go down when this event is ongoing in an attempt to make sure that you see it. Because I'm fairly certain that the last time I was here, these towers went down. And then we go over here in the valley, and we see this event. Ah, 
Hello. You're adorable. Ooh. This is, uh, laid out differently. I hope, uh, I hope you're gonna clean up this garbage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Don't mind me. I'm just being nosy. It's a cute picnic basket. Here, here. I, I have a proposal. Hold on. Look, I, I might have taken one out. You know what? I'll drop the raw shrimp too. Here, hold on. Here. I come bearing a gift of two shrimp. There we go. Now I will leave you cat girls, cam people, in peace. Goodbye. I have no idea if that does anything, but it's fine. Come on. Yeah. I knew I could do it. All right, so that's the same event that I saw. I didn't notice anything different, except it looked like it was a little bit more of a detailed picnic. Let's be careful. All right. All right, how much fuel do we have? 37. There might be a little bit of fuel in here. Sometimes there is, but not this time, since we actually need the fuel. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, let me out. No, don't break. All right. <laughs> We're safe. Glug, glug. <laughs> I hope that didn't hit the campfire down there. All right. All right. We're we're all fueled up now. We're safe. Let's uh Let's 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 just go reset these powers. All right. All right. Ten. So eight. See fourteen, seven, six, five, ten, ten. That's not right. I'm bad at math. All right, hold on a second. My thing's not updated. Okay, my thing's updated now. Uh, where was I? There we go. All right. Let's see, one, three, negative one, sixteen. Four. There we go. All right, so our last point of interest is Lima. And that's also the one that's farthest away. We're getting a little bit hungry. We're a little bit tired, but we're doing okay. Head this way, shall we? Let's see what kind of cool stuff we can find over here. I do want to check out that rock pile. I don't know why. 
but it just looks appealing. ATV is gonna get me killed. Again. The ATV is gonna get me killed again. I guess I should say. check out that rock pile. Let's see if there's anything cool up here. Hello. 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 What is this place? What is that? What are those? What's down here? Oh. A bone. Hmm. Okay. Actually, we could have kept that. I could add it to my collection. Well, it's lost the time now. Let's go see what's going on over here, and we'll check out those buildings. Grab my handy-dandy crowbar. What are you? Hello? Okay. Electric generator, work in progress. Oh, there's a bunch of scrap here. I don't have any space for it though. Also, I don't actually know if I should be grabbing it. <laughs> what is this? No, come back. Huh. Interesting. Let's drop this scrap. It's taking up too much space. I don't like that ominous rumbling. Day 41. We finally got more financial support for our mission. We can get deeper this time. But today I noticed something interesting. The hole made one deep, bassy sound. Couldn't record it, and I don't know if it was naturally made, but it sounds like a really deep metal squeak. This hole is pretty weird. That's a weird way to describe a hole. This hole is kind of weird. It smells funny, and it makes weird sounds. Let's see, we'll grab those discs. Let's see, what else is here? Hello? One of one. These are just random paper scraps. Huh. I might have to come back here with... Ooh, hello. Borger. And what's this? A data drive. STO8122. Okay. Where are we? Okay, we're out here by uh, the Y satellite. I don't know what its special designation name is, but what's this over here? Like little huts? Spooky. Little huts, little like shanties. 
my screen did a weird perspective shift there, just slightly. I get zoomed in. Let me let me grab this uh, burger for comfort. Uh, I don't know if that's visible. Like that's not me zooming in. The heck? Let me in. I want, I want in. Please. Do all these doors do that? Uh, the bird stopped making noise. All right. What's going on in here? Nothing? Just a bunch of trash? Let me, let me in. Same thing here? Hmm. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. We can still pause the game. <laughs> Am I allowed to come in? These are just all empty. Huh. Weird. I don't like... I don't like any of that. Oh, there's like a something else going on over here. What? Go now. <laughs> uh, I didn't see anything. Not a thing. It's starting to get kind of late. All right, let's uh, let's try to get down this hill without death. Death. Is this where we have to go? No. No, that'd be too easy. There we go. Oh, hold on a second. I recognize this place. Didn't I find a skull here last time? Maybe not. Is this thing infinite? I don't know. It keeps going down and down and down. We have no rope already. At least these yellow metal walls have ridges on them, so we don't have to climb our... Maybe this isn't? I swear there was a skull here last time. Maybe not. I like how I have a shovel, and my immediate reaction is, this is a big circle. Let's dig in the middle of it. Because that's a reasonable reaction. Alright. 
It is getting kind of late. We need to head home. And by head home, I mean we need to stop at this last spot. And then we can head home. That's zero. That's that. That's that. Uh, that's that. That's that. That. Uh, that. And that. Cool. SV or SD calc. That's great. That's pretty neat. And then target the base. Okay. does make me wonder if seeing that uh, <laughs> message from the dev about the fence is uh, going to activate something to kill me. Or maybe I didn't get close enough to trigger whatever might do it. I don't know. But that's, that was pretty funny. I got a kick out of that. It is quite foggy out today. All right. It's another day. Well done. Oh wait, I have to go out there to ugh, whatever. We'll we'll figure it out. All right. Well, this is done. So, I'm curious is this that is the drive we heard from the dig site. I guess we could call it a dig site. I don't really know what else to call it. It just sounds like static. But we can process that up and maybe it won't sound like static. That's how this game works. <laughs> That's how you listen to the voices of the void, after all. So this is Unknown 2? Also just a lot of static, huh? Fair enough. But I think that will be what I process next. All right, let's uh, let's set up a box and ship it off so we can get our money. I like money after all. Let's see, I need three of these guys. Might as well do that one. And then two more of these planet ones. This is the right thing, yep. There we go. All right, I need a little bit of music. It's too quiet in here. Let's go. All right, so now I definitely want to make sure I buy a little bit of fuel. I think that is the number one priority. And then uh, we could probably use the rest of our money for upgrades, actually. I don't know. 
we're a little bit tired. I like how the <laughs> the way you use things in this game is just to smash things into other things. Could also clean up this hallway. Here, let's uh let's go ahead and do this. For no apparent reason. Yeah, that'll work. I'm sure boxes, of all things, will definitely protect us from the scary aliens. 100%. Alright, let's go find another signal to start processing. It literally just disappeared. It literally just disappeared on me. up here. Is this one going to immediately disappear on me too? There we go. Alright, points. More points. I don't like this. I don't like how this sounds. Quite scary and unnerving. I'll send this to Ida to Ina, and she won't analyze it for- I agree, Dr. Max. I also find cam girls unnerving. It's alright. I understand. I understand. Look at that smug little face. They're up to something. We need to figure out what it is. I don't think they come in peace. Maybe I shouldn't have given them food. You know what they say about feeding wild animals. They'll just come back expecting more. All right, let's set this up, get some food, and maybe get some rest for the night. We do have 300 points to play with. I don't really know what... Come on. There it is. What to spend those points on other than more upgrades. It's probably higher. And fuel. Okay, let's go in here. Let's see. I definitely want to buy some fuel. I definitely want to buy another pizza, I think. Because pizzas last for a while. Let's see, what would that be? Essentials? No. Containers? Gas can. That's 50 points? Wow. Alright. And we'll grab a pizza. And that'll still give us 200 points. I do want a metal detector. I've mentioned that before. And of course I want a mop to actually clean my base. Roomba could be fun. A glow stick could be nice to light up the room. C 
Her fur is a robot helper, follows you around, makes you company, can fix satellite servers. That seems pretty neat. I don't really see the functionality of the digital camera. I don't know, there might be something more there. Uh, let's save up for one of these. I have no idea what they're gonna do. And let's check out Cam 1. Still looks, uh, looks pretty normal out there to me. I'm going to have to get some food before I starve to death. And some sleep before I die of sleep. Which I think... Is already happening. But first we need to get this fuel. Because if I don't move the fuel, it just is going to explode in the morning. get the midnight delivery, it'll just explode on the landing. Then we'll have to buy it again. Alright, let's go up and get some rest. See what kind of spooky things happen tonight. I didn't check the um, transformers before I went to bed. Hopefully they'll be okay. The heck is this? Burgerland? Oh, this dream is amazing! Oh, this looks delicious! Is there something scary chasing me? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't really know what I'm doing here! Don't fall! Don't fall! Don't fall! Whew. This looks relevant. Also, it's raining in my dream. No, no, Borger. No, Borger. Borger, please. Oh, no, Borger. Did I win? There's another Borger. Do I just have to find all the Borgers? Is that what we're doing? That seems to be what we're doing. Also, it's raining. Um, it's, um, no, Borger, no, Borger! I have no stamina. I did not mean to grab that. <laughs> Let me get back to sleep. Looks like there's eyes in the tree there, in the top middle of my screen. Sadly, I missed out on the Borgers. Unfortunate. The heck was that sound? 